Hello, Entirers. It is Beer Boy Craft again this week, and we have uh, two re returning guests. We have Garner1996. Hello. And we have a fellow moderator, I am Sam. Hi. And so let's start off with Town. So, for the Townsend Economy, we have the town of Mayfield, which is owned by Bryson Moley, has joined the Nation of History, which is accompanied by Air City and Astoria. We welcome him, and the uh, on a related note to history is that the Nation Farm, my forward slash warp Nation Farm, has been rebuilt and now is fully operational again. So anybody in the Nation of History can now go and get their good farming food. And so uh, that's it for Townsend Economy. Actually, no, the economy side. I apologize. The economy side, it really doesn't have anything again this week, sadly. So uh, we'll move on to the next segment. And for the bands this week, we, in Grace's bands, we have Kesh Doss for griefing, and we have Gas Sniper for letting a band player play on his account. And for Spad's bands, we have Jokers1901 for griefing, The Possum King1 for griefing, Super Cracker Boy1 for griefing, Panda's Rules for self-admitted griefing, and Feddy098 for griefing. And also, we'd like to welcome back Bokot, for who has been unbanned recently, and after he was banned some time ago. And that's all for bands this week. All right, and for uh, for bugs in the bugs and updates portion, we have uh, no new report of bugs besides the. Uh, well, I'm sure it's come to everyone's attention that the storms in Antares have been much more uh, intense than they usually are. I know this is probably very late to be reported on, but I mean, I never really counted it as a bug, but I guess it kind of is a bug at the same time. Uh, we also have the standard x-ray bug still happening, fake ores, just hit it with your pickaxe or just put a torch on it to find out if it's a real ore or not. Uh, and that's just about it for... Uh, for bugs. All right, and now for the update side of bugs and updates with I am Sam. This week on the updates, a new screenshot has been released by Jeb detailing snapshot. Actually, a new snapshot's been released by Jeb detailing some of the new um, updates that will be in Minecraft. Uh, one of the perhaps best things to come for Minecraft to come for to come to Minecraft for a long time is the Ender Chest which functions like a normal chest, but its items are shared across all the ender chests. The only problem at the moment is ender ch chests aren't personalized. They are shared with everybody on the server, so hopefully that will be fixed. Cocoa beans are now becoming renewable with plants growing for the cocoa beans to grow on. There are craftable books, better than before. You can combine them with quills and write in the books and create your own novel if you ever wanted to. Some updates with namings. Villagers um, can now be traded with by right-clicking on them, entering the new trading interface, and trading items for emeralds or the other way around. Speaking of emeralds, they are another new ore that's added into the game. They are 125th, the rareness of diamonds, so they are, if that makes any sense, they are very rare. Uh, golden apples have reverted back to the old state of being one apple surrounded by eight gold blocks. They're much more powerful, but they are much more expensive. And finally, dispensers can now eject water and lava blocks if you place a bucket of the corresponding fluid inside of the bucket, inside of the dispenser. And that's it for updates with I am Sam. And for the community events, they're uh, the postponed uh, obstacle course never happened because Minecraft.net was down for at least half the day, or well, half of my time zone's day, and the uh, <clears throat> and the server population is not as high as it used to be. So the uh, community events really are not working out now. So we don't have anything scheduled; it's been put off. And uh, Torp also had some community events to do, but you know there really isn't. He's out for the whole day, so I guess he's doing them next week. I'm not sure, depending on how many people we have throughout this week. I may spring the uh, obstacle course thing on you guys not sure but uh anyways oh another thing related to community events but is is very late 
in the summer. Well, not really in the summer. It's about in the middle of the summer. Is the uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's aware of the Summer Olympics coming up this 2012 Summer Olympics in London. So uh, Ed Man thought it was a good idea to start his own uh, server Olympics kind of thing, and he's uh, he has a forums post up and he's building in Riverwood for our. Uh, big summer olympics and it should be there's gonna be a lot of prizes i myself am contributing uh, a little over two thousand coins and prizes for uh first second and third which is a uh, collective over those three and so uh yeah i encourage everyone to go on and sign up their names and uh we'll have our own great olympics now this keep in mind this is not till july and we start on when around July starts, or the the Olympics start, I apologize. The uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's it for community events this week. And now on to the next segment. And that's it for this week, guys. If everybody enjoyed the podcast. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Goodbye. See you guys. John. Yeah, fun. John. All right, see you guys, John. John. Don't play too hard. Don't John. 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 Uh, John. 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 I'd actually like to remind everybody about John. <laughs>